there have been men, many of them, who claim to be a new messiah. And tonight we're going to meet three of them, including one in the faraway Philippines who has amassed a flock, he says, numbers in the millions. Poor people who give what little they have to the man they believe is the second coming of Jesus. Bill Weir journeyed there to meet him. Throughout the Bible, prophets, angels, and Jesus himself all promised that the Son of God would return to create heaven on earth. And throughout the ages, billions of Christians have wondered when. But what if the second coming is here, now? There are a number of would-be messiahs who claim exactly that, and few are more physically convincing than a former Russian traffic cop named Sergei Torop. In the woods of rural Siberia, he is known as Vissarion, the teacher, and around 5,000 disciples live around him, growing their own food and feasting on his every word. And my whole body was trembling. The trembling is not coming again. <laughs> well, it's a, a very emotional to me. Meanwhile, in London, David Shaler says he is the true Lord of Lords, but unlike Vissarion, no one believes him. That doesn't bother me because I was chosen by God. The former British intelligence agent says his body was filled with the spirit of Jesus in 2007, a conviction which intensifies on a visit to Jerusalem. We're in the Church Holy Sepulchre and this behind me is supposed to be the tomb of Christ. Well, I'm Christ, I'm not in the tomb, I'm not dead yet. But with no support, he lives in a squatter's camp outside London. My agreement with Jesus is I don't ask for money off people. If you're the Messiah, you shouldn't be asking for money. You should have faith that God will look after you. Prove to me that you are a son of God. But that is not a sentiment shared by Pastor Apollo Quibbeloy, the most successful of the world's self-labeled saviors. The official coming of the Son of God was in April 13, 2005. He was an obscure evangelist from the rural Philippines until 2005 when he announced that God had appointed him Christ on earth. He is an ordinary Australian making an extraordinary claim. AJ Miller says he's Jesus Christ. We first found him spruiking his message in Australia, but now this self-proclaimed son of God has taken his mission to the world. Denham Hitchcock caught up with AJ deep in the heart of Texas. I'm going to have to say that I'm Jesus. <laughs> That's how much rage is there, you see? I certainly don't want to be Jesus. <laughs> At the moment, I certainly don't want to be <laughs> His name is Alan John Miller, or AJ, a former IT worker from Queensland's Bible Belt with one hell of a story. <laughs> he claims he's Jesus Christ, back from the dead, to spread a message he calls the divine truth. And remember that it has been prophesied in the Bible and other places that I was going to do this, that I was going to return. You see, Oprah, there is still so much more that God needs me to express to the world. It's not just a coincidence that I look like Jesus. I am the modern day Jesus Christ that you all have been waiting for. The man who claims he is Jesus Christ. Only his name is Moses, Moses Longwane. But he says, like his namesake, he has spent years in the wilderness and has been resurrected as the Son of God. Ladies and gentlemen of the Western white races, I am the Lord Jesus Christ. My name today is Brian Leonard Gulati Marshall. The news of my return has been kept secret from you by Pope Francis, who is a Jew, a Jesuit, and he is a black Pope. Below this video are links where you can do the research for yourself. My message to Europe and the Christian world is quite simple. You are my people. You are the lost sheep. I told the apostles that I was going to. I, as Jesus, shed my blood to release the Father, God Almighty, that is the Holy Ghost, this is the soul of Jesus, that is myself, on April the 3rd, 33 AD. I'll make it quite simple. If you do not join my holy war, you will join the Muslims and the Jews, and I will cast you, along with them, 
back in Deal. Now, I want you to form a delegation from all nations and go to Francis, demand to see Pope Benedict and confirm what I am telling you is true. He won't deny it. But Francis will do his best to stop you singing. Pope Benedict. My face is on the Shroud of Turin. This is what amazed Pope Benedict. So, 